Reporting on spiritual trends in post-truth society. Welcome to Spirituality Today with your hosts, Laura Maxwell and Dana Emanuel. Welcome to this special show. It's Easter Monday, 2020. My Dreams and Visions of Current Times by Laura Maxwell. My name is Laura Maxwell from Scotland, retired host from Eternal Radio and frequent TV and radio guest. Friends, I've been a Christian for 24 years. For many years, I've been having revelations of what has come to pass in the media. I had no way of knowing, sometimes even the very day before a huge earthquake or tsunami or a war breaking out somewhere. The last six years this has intensified, the last nine months even more so and the last few months daily or several times per day. No, mental illness cannot cause such accurate revelations and I'm not that bright that I can guess at geopolitical events. I'm not psychic either. I'm a Bible-believing Christian. There have been way too many to recall over the years and yes, they relate to the current pandemic too. Out of all of the leaders around the world I've shared these with, only one has said I shouldn't share publicly as it could cause fear. I really do understand that, but if you were a lifeguard and saw a shark in the sea, would you lovingly shout to warn the swimmers or not shout at them in case you scared them? Please let me share just the two visions I saw yesterday. 1. Aeroplanes in flight, then a missile in flight. 2. To be exact, in this first waking vision I had yesterday, as I watched it take place before me, much like watching a TV screen, an aeroplane literally morphed into a missile. It had a feeling about it like it was a terrorist attack. Whether an inside job or not, I don't know. In the second waking vision, I watched a missile launch. This felt very much like the retaliation. I don't know the countries involved. I did not see their flags, etc. However, much of my recent revelations have actually concerned the USA. Visions of specific names of politicians who I'd never even heard of before in newspaper headlines that did indeed occur as newspaper headlines. Many revelations I've had of world events have indeed took place. Also personal night dreams I have and waking visions I've had for individual people like friends and so on have also been confirmed by them as being accurate. Much of the revelations have been of global events as being related to the book of Revelation and other books in the Bible and have been extremely apocalyptic in nature. Why am I sharing this now if I've been getting these for many years? Well, I feel the Holy Spirit wants me to. I suspect if I'd shared sooner, not many would have believed me. What is the purpose of dreams and visions? Through the Bible and still today, God gives such revelations as he wants to wake people up to the times we are in and what is coming ahead. Just like Noah, he lovingly warned people about the coming global flood so they could get on his ark and be saved if they would only but listen. Who is our ark today? Jesus Christ. If you know him already, it's time to repent and get far, far closer to him. 
If you have not asked Jesus into your life yet, I do lovingly urge you to do so and again, repent for your sins, ask him to be your saviour. In the past, I saw a waking vision of Ezekiel's valley of the dry bones coming alive. I feel a mighty global conversion to Christ will occur in the future. Hallelujah! This pandemic is just a very small part of what is ahead. Let me stress that. The elite globalist cabal really do exist. No, it is not a conspiracy theory. If you know me, you'll know I've shared for 10 plus years my testimony of being saved out of New Age and spiritualism. In those movements, my mother and I were taught the Luciferian doctrine and end time plan involving global genocide. My mother has since passed away and you can see more about her story and mine um, on my channel and my blog I'll mention at the end. Now such Luciferian teachings are in many books by top mediums, new agers etc including well-known people such as Helena Madame Blavatsky the so-called mother of the New Age movement in the 1830s. Her prodigy, Alice Bailey, who was married to Foster Bailey, a top Freemason and author. The leader, Albert Pike, wrote in his famous Freemasonry books about this Luciferian plan too, and how they, the elite, would execute it. Now remember, they think Lucifer is God, also, please remember, they do, they did channel so-called spirit guides who gave them direct instructions of how to go about this. Many of them, just like my mother and I in our past, don't realise such spirits are actually evil demons from Satan. They can masquerade and take any form they wish to, to deceive people, pretend that they are angels and so on. But they lie to people about living in a utopia with them at the end of the age. And yes, at the very top of the Luciferian cabal, yes, they do know Lucifer is Satan and they worship him as such. All of these people are sadly deceived. Part of the teaching was we were taught in order for Lucifer to return, his real name in um, the Bible explains he is the Antichrist. Well, first they feel that the earth has to be cleansed of the majority of people as they are blocking Lucifer's return. Please hear that. Now please see my blog and YouTube videos, 10 years worth where I share this in more detail. The Lucis Trust is a big player in this. They believe Lucifer is God. Madame Helena Blavatsky, who I mentioned earlier, and Alice Bailey, um, they feature their work a lot. They believe Lucifer is God. Please check their site, the Lucifer's Trust. They are linked to the World Health Organization, the United Nations, and many, many more world-leading players in this satanic plan. Is that any surprise? Do check your Bibles. Do you think when the Antichrist appears he will pop out of nowhere? Of course not. His followers have been paving the way for centuries. This is all biblical prophecy taking place, friends. Please check your Bibles for signs of the end times. Myself and others have been sharing through media that we are at that time scale now in world history. True biblical scholars do know this. I realise few Christians around the world are sharing any of this. Why? Is it lack of knowledge? Is it fear? Other reasons? The two large Christian TV channels here in the UK are Revelation TV, where I've been a guest over the past decade. They air across Europe and worldwide and online. My good friend Mark Sutherland has shared these things as a guest there too. 
The other big channel in the UK is the God Channel and Wendy Alec runs that. Now I was told just two days ago she released a statement that she is aware of the elite globalist cabal, that it's not a conspiracy theory. Now praise God because very few Christian leaders around the world are saying this. So I'm just like, wow, what an answer to prayer. Um, she has known about it for some time and just released that two days ago on her Facebook. No doubt she's mentioned it on her channel as well. I don't know. Another well-known preacher in the US, Rodney Howard Brown, wrote two books on this topic too and mentions such things frequently on his YouTube channel. My own dear friend Jason Carter wrote a book about it all too, Trumpet Blast Warning. I was so impressed with that book a few years ago. I got about 100 copies and last week I did the same. Money well worth spent. He often makes the Kindle version free on Amazon, so please check out for that. We're not uh, here to sell books. Please um, get the free version on Kindle. Friends, before you say, well, I don't watch those Christian TV channels or I don't follow those preachers, um, those ones in the New Apostolic Reformation or Dominionism, please hear me, friends. I used to follow those teachings. I no longer adhere to those teachings myself, but I must emphasize God will use anyone to expose the Luciferian agenda. There are an abundance of people, Christian or not, exposing this Luciferian agenda. People like the famous David Icke, who I'd say is a New Ager, or Alex Jones of Infowars. Notice how these people are constantly censored. They have done the research, and let me repeat, as an ex-New Age Ager and ex-spiritualist, I was indeed taught this very Luciferian plan myself. I've spoken in radio shows with the well-known former Illuminati member Carolyn Hamlet. She and I were taught the exact same plan. Please, friends, use your critical reasoning skills and consider what we have shared for years. The Bible is true. And we are in the book of Revelation. I couldn't connect with my dear friend and co-host Dania Emanuel, ex-paranormal investigator, to do this show due to tech issues. But she kindly wrote this for me to add to our show today. I feel that this is something the Lord has pressed on me as well. As I mentioned to you a few days ago, Laura, I believe other countries will see the US as more vulnerable now due to the financial strain on the economy due to this pandemic. We are at a more vulnerable position and it seems this world, this would be an opportune time for an outside force to gain an upper hand. I hope and pray this is not the case. It also may explain my own dreams of meteors or bombs shooting across our east coast ocean here in the US. As the object comes across the sky and I lose sight of it, the entire ground shakes with a great boom. God, I pray, will heed to the warnings. I pray people will heed to the warnings. Thank you, sister, for sharing. She goes on to say, I feel that it is essential that we use our gifts God has given us. In fact, we should covet them, especially in the times we are in, as many are looking for a sign or looking for guidance. What is God saying to us? He is indeed long-suffering and faithful. He will lovingly warn his people and he desires them to repent and turn to him. When given these signs and messages, God will hold us accountable if we do not sound the trumpet. We should do, as Laura also mentioned, to get closer to God as he has now removed the idols and distractions out of our way so we can do this. Obviously, Dina means the whole lockdown situation. God wants our attention and we should become intimate with his holy word. Each one of us need to pray for confirmation 
as God will reveal and confirm to us what he sent prophets to say. She then quotes Acts chapter 2 verse 17 to 21. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapour of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Acts chapter 2, verse 17 to 21. Thank you, Dana, um, my co-host, for sharing that. A final word from myself. I have many good friends in media ministries and other ministries globally, such as Michael Cummings, retired host of Revelation TV, Mark Sutherland, a guest on Revelation TV, Christina Lynn Lias in the US, host of various TV and radio shows. Jason Carter, retired host of Eternal Radio. And Jim Perry, retired host of Eternal Radio. They all share these exact same truths too. They and people they know have had similar dreams and visions over the years, just as I have described. I have had. Many people I know on Facebook and through my blog and YouTube have also had similar revelations. No coincidence, friends. What about the Bible and Jesus Christ? There is much historical and other evidences that the Bible is true and Jesus Christ really did die on Calvary's cross and be resurrected from the dead. You'll find such evidences under um, the topic Christian apologetics, if you Google that. I have playlists of such videos on my YouTube channel, including, for example, top university professors who debated people like Richard Dawkins, the famous atheist, and won the debate with their evidence. If you know Jesus Christ already, it's time to get far closer to him. If you haven't asked Jesus into your life yet, I lovingly urge you to do so. Thank you so much, friends, for watching today, and please share this with your friends. Also, please consider downloading any of my YouTube videos, including this one, and my blog articles, as Christians are being heavily censored globally, and my channel and blog may well be deleted. So thank you again, Dana Emmanuel, my co-host on Spirituality Today. She has a YouTube channel titled Spiritual Realities. It is at youtube.com slash exposing the enemy. My name is Laura Maxwell from Scotland, retired host from Eternal Radio and still a frequent TV and radio guest on many networks around the world. Please find out more on my blog, ourspiritualquest.com. Thank you so, so much, friends, for watching and God bless you.